I was director of community education for American Red Cross, the chapter in Humboldt County. When I woke up on March 11th, it was to the sound of my NOAA weather radio going off. The National Weather Service has issued a tsunami warning for coastal areas including Del Norte County at 6 a.m. An earthquake with a magnitude of 8.9 has been detected approximately 38 miles northeast of Honshu, Japan. The March 2011 Great East Japan earthquake and tsunami had and continues to have a profound effect on me. I think about the Tohoku tsunami um, on a daily basis. What I've learned is that measuring impacts through property loss and casualty numbers gives only a small glimpse of the full scale of a disaster. And I see it uh, more of this 3D view, I guess, than just words on a page, than just a plan. It was up to the three of us to kind of get this thing up and running. We trained for it. We had manuals in place showing us what to do in this type of scenario. Full outreach activities began again around 4 a.m. Our local sheriff's department and police department and our volunteer fire departments went to the task of evacuating our community. Yeah, even Good Samaritans were out warning people. From blow horns to speakers on their um, fire trucks to the sirens. Where we put people in place, beach observers, to tell us what they saw. So we'd have immediate uh, response to the EOC as to what was actually happening. After the tsunami arrived in California and impacted our coastline, I spent many hours analyzing the data that was collected by our acoustic Doppler current profiler instrument that was installed in Humboldt Bay. We were in direct communications with NOAA, whose office is right there on the Harbor District. So we had really good contact with Troy Nicolini. 10 years ago, I managed our tsunami program for the largest event on this coast in the last 57 years. We had one fatality in California and about $100 million in damage. Uh, there was a lot of damage on the water to both docks and various infrastructure. We did learn a number of uh, lessons from that event. Education, education, education. Not surprisingly, I'm a teacher. We had tsunami posters, we had information sheets about past California tsunamis, but many teachers would walk by and say apologetically, well, I'm just not teaching that this year. The following morning, March 11th, things were different. And um, ultimately has led to my current position that I have um, in as an educator at the university. So we're hoping to be able to reduce the number of people who could be drowned or killed by other means during the tsunami from 50% down to maybe 5 to 10%. The kindness of strangers is every bit as important as financial resources in disaster recovery and building community resistance. I'm reminded of, of why we do what we do as uh, professionals and scientists trying to prepare the public um, for the next tsunami. And so I, I hope that we're doing a good job on that uh, and not letting you know the people that that passed during this event and other events like it um, fade from our memory so we need to stay on top of this <laughs>